Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have two guests from Fastly. We have uh, Derek Rast, who is the Area Vice President, and Stephen Gillies, who is Fastly's APEC Technology Evangelist. So uh, welcome to the jam to you both. Great, thanks, Nick. Thanks for having us. No worries at all. So um, to start off, for those who aren't familiar, can you just give a brief lowdown on what Fastly is and what are your key offerings, that sort of thing? Yeah, absolutely, I can take that one. Fastly is an edge cloud platform. So essentially you can think of us as uh, the in-between between your cloud infrastructure and your end users. So we really sit there to help provide a faster, smarter, and more secure experience for end users. Um, we were fast, well, we were started in, in 2011 um, in San Francisco. And really we came about, we were built by developers um, who wanted a better way um, to do things. And really the, the challenge there with existing CDNs were these black boxes that you had very little control and they wanted to bring that control into the application. And so in order to be able to bring those edge services and that control into the application, you had to build three things. And those three abilities were to give complete control at the edge, to give complete visibility at the edge, and to be able to do everything in real time. And so that really was the start of Fastly and why Fastly was built. Today, we've evolved to uh, offer delivery services, security services, and compute services all at the edge. So whether you're network 10 and you're streaming hundreds of thousands um, of live streams of the Melbourne Cup, or you are Kogan uh, handling a thundering herd of customers on a Black Friday sales event, uh, or your Linktree, uh, a recent customer of ours who added 4 million users in three months, you turned to Fastly to help you execute on your business outcomes. Brilliant, cool. Um, so last year, Fastly acquired Signal Sciences. So could you tell me the reasoning behind this acquisition and why are Fastly and Signal Sciences such a good fit? Yeah, of course, thank you. Um, yeah, well, Signal Sciences uh, is an amazing API and application security technology. And so first and foremost, amazing technology. Second, incredible people. And then third, one of the, the real, I think, important things for us is they had a similar DNA and really wanting to empower developers. They were also built by developers. And so that's a real important ethos of our company and theirs. So obviously they bring this amazing security, security portfolio to Fastly. And then Fastly offers this massive global performance, uh, high scale network. And so you can think of those merging together, the power that that, that will be. And, I've got breaking news for you today, Nick. We actually just uh, announced our beta of um, the Signal Sciences Edge agent, which will be coming out very soon. So you'll start to see the power of those two technologies coming together very soon. Awesome, cool. Um, so uh, going back to Fastly's offerings, what are the most recent improvements or innovations in your solutions and services? Yeah, I'll take that one. Um, of course, uh, every one of our customers is really, really super focused on security. Uh, and so the Signal Sciences purchase uh, and the integration of that technology into the Fastly uh, traditionally, you know, CDN uh, edge delivery streaming media technologies uh, is really super amazing. Uh, but, you know, we don't, uh, we don't just uh, stand still on, uh, on innovation. Uh, so we're continuing to build out uh, the platform. Uh, I couldn't mention uh, innovation without talking about uh, our recent uh, partnership with Okta, for example. Uh, but really the key to it is that we want to give our customers the ability to deploy uh, security to make sure that their applications are super fast. Uh, and we want to give them the ability to do that in what most customers today are deploying, you know, multiple clouds, API focused, uh, everything is API first for configuration. Uh, you know, the whole software development lifecycle for our customers has really changed over the last 10 years. Uh, and Fastly is right here innovating uh, with those customers as well. Right, yeah. Um, you just mentioned uh, security and API, Stephen. So um, Fastly recently released some research which found there was an urgent need for modern security uh, solutions in response to the shift toward cloud and APIs. So can you tell me a bit more about this research? 
Yeah, look, it was fascinating research and, uh, and quite scary, actually. Uh, the research turned up that in Australia, uh, only about 50% of the respondents even have a web application firewall in front of their API endpoints. Uh, and, you know, that, that's, that's pretty scary when you think about it, uh, transactions and, uh, you know, personal information and, uh, and things being delivered to mobile devices uh, with no web application firewall. Uh, so Fastly, uh, of course, uh, is very focused in that space. Uh, and so I guess it's encouraging that uh, our customers and prospects uh, have, that, um, have that gap, I guess, in their security portfolio uh, and want to be able to put web application firewall in front of APIs. Uh, but you know, web application firewalls—they've—they um, sort of—they fit into two buckets these days. So you've got a legacy web application firewall, which is largely based on regular expressions and pattern matching, uh, and then the next gen. Uh, web application firewall uh, like the signal sciences web application firewall uh, which really focuses on the behavior and the intent of the request and that's really super important we use a couple of technologies uh, like smart paths which works out if an sql statement is actually going to run if it's going to cause damage uh, but also we cover the owasp uh, top 10 pretty much as our default it's table stakes and there's no configuration around that we've heard from a lot of customers that it can take weeks months even years uh, to implement a web application firewall and blocking mode because of the complexity of some of these APIs uh, and because of where web application firewalls are being forced into the network they're you know a, a, an appliance or they sit only on the cloud uh, fastly next gen WAF uh, sits everywhere so we have an agent deployment model, which sits really super close to your application, could be sitting alongside your API endpoints, but we also give the customers the ability to deploy that web application firewall uh, in the cloud and that edge cloud that uh, deployment model uh, that Derek just announced, uh, that's part of that. So it's really exciting. Brilliant, yeah. Um, so changing tack towards like geography, we have a special interest in the ANZ region. So what infrastructural resources do you have in the ANZ market? Yeah, I'll take that. Um, the Fastly has actually been in the region for many years, in fact, almost since the inception. And initially, that really was to deliver our global customers and give uh, deliver, deliver their business into Australia and New Zealand and give their customers the absolute best experience. So Spotify, Twitter, Guardian, all demanded that we have infrastructure in the region. But over the past five years, we've seen a real uptick of demand and interest in Fastly services. And so that's really led to an investment of people here, um, as well as continued investment into infrastructure. We currently have data centers on both coasts of Australia, including Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, and Perth, and both islands of New Zealand, Auckland, Wellington, and Christchurch. And uh, as our customer base grows, we continue to invest and um, will be growing quite significantly over the next year. Awesome, cool. Um, and final question for you both. Um, if an enterprise end user wanted to engage with Fastly, what is the best way? Yeah, I think real easily, you can reach out to us on LinkedIn, but sort of living up to that ethos of developer first, developer friendly, you can go to fastly.com and sign up for a developer account today and start working with Fastly without even talking to us. Brilliant, sounds good. Well, um, yeah, that's it for today's interview. Thank you, Derek and Stephen, for taking the time to join me today. Thanks, Nick. Thank you very much.